Good morning, warriors. Welcome back. Before we get started, we're going to do a breathing exercise. Five seconds. Five Mississippis. And what we want to do is breathe in deep, hold it, and then release. But kind of not hold it, hold it. As soon as your lungs get kind of filled up to capacity, then you start releasing slowly. Start to finish usually takes about five seconds. But when you're being provoked, it feels like a half a second. What I want you to notice is this too. When narcissists are truly and desperatious on the setup and they're trying to get you to commit, the way they distract you from the five seconds, if you notice, this is why it's so important to keep your distance. Your vibe is so powerful that they can get a contact high and they want to break that, not meditatious, you see, because while you're doing the five Mississippis and moving into your logical space, they need to break that. You're concentratious. So what they'll try and do is touch you. Not just anywhere. Sensitive. Arms. Shoulders. You ever seen that? Where they grab your shoulders? What do you think, man? Come on. And they'll shake you like this to keep you from thinking and transferring to your logical place. Keep your distance. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me think about it. Or another option is always, man, come on, man. You know under pressure, the answer is always no. Many narcissists that have already made these failed attempts on you, this is their approach. Look, I know you're probably not going to want to go, but you're, if you want, this is what we're doing. Da, 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 da. They try reverse psychology because reverse narcology that you're applying is destroying them. It stops them dead in their tracks. You're non-committal. This is your new attachment style. Trust must be earned. It's never just given freely waiting for a narcissist to break trust. Because by that time you're in too deep. Can I get a what what? Now let me tell you another damn thing. Your boundaries better have teeth. It better mean something and stand for something or you're going to fall for everything. And you ain't too old. You ain't too damn old to start over. Get over that shit. What you are is too damn old to keep doing what isn't working. Now you hearing me? All right then. It's called insanity. It's why the narcissist know more than anyone out there. what evil is. They've surrounded themselves with nothing but darkness. Warriors, let's do this. Five seconds. Let's take a deep dive. Let's, let's take a badass walk on that beach and chill. And have some understanding so that we cannot suffer the anxiety that desperation does. Their suffering and anxiety is knowing that when they called on the gin, the banshee, if it has nothing to attach itself to, no one knows more about the spiritual darkness than narcissists, sociopaths, and psychopaths. The reason they're trying to find innocence, they need a host to dump off the gin. It's rattling them. They're shook five seconds on why you don't need that tick on your left nut. Come on now. <laughs> and if you ain't got no nuts, tulips, come on. <laughs> Shake it off. Five seconds, come on now. Release slowly. <laughs> All right. 
right, child. All right, all right. Hey, you can get your Bibles out. I'm just giving you a head start. Go take, shake the dust off it. Come on now. We are going to reference that because let me tell you something. Narcissists don't even need to read it, but they can testify as to the spirits that are on the dark side, and they can validate that that exists. They'll turn their back on the light. It shakes them up because it forces you and I and everyone to self-reflect, be self-aware. It forces you to see the truth. Now, walking away or running away is not to teach the narcissist a lesson. It's not to get a get back at the narcissist. It's only because you learned your lesson. God is going to put you back together right in front of the narcissist reprobates who try to destroy you. And the thing of it is, is this. You don't get a free pass from suffering because of your understanding of the Word of God. You can have the greatest, tightest relationship with our Lord and Savior. But it doesn't exempt you from suffering. Go to the book of Romans, chapter 8, and we're going to read 18. And this is Paul. And it says, <clears throat> For I consider that the suffering of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is going to be, be revealed to us. Layman's terms, let's put it in plain English. The pain that, you're, that you've been feeling can't compare to the joy that's coming. That's Chico country. But what I want you to take note is this. The key word. Suffering and present time. Christians don't get a free pass from suffering. Our King, Yeshua, suffered the worstest. And if you still don't believe that our Lord and Savior came in flesh and that the truth has been chronicled, I was entertained by watching a YouTube short and it was about Watergate, President Nixon, the Watergate scandal. And one of the guys that was one of the key investigators in the Watergate scandal said, Yeshua's life had to be real. Everything documented about Yeshua, even rising from the dead, had to be real. You want to know why? Because during Watergate, eight of the most powerful men in the nation couldn't hold a lie for three weeks. And yet, the apostles held the truth for 40 years to their death. Warriors, the truth hurts. It stings a little, but it's nourishment to the heart, the soul, the mind. Narcissists have experienced seeing everyone around them mature and outgrow them. And continuously, they repeatedly see the same cycle of abandonment, being left behind. The narcissist struggles seeing everyone succeed without them. And they're so proud of not changing. 
if you've gone back to your old stomping grounds, you can see the same twisted narcissist, sociopath, psychopath standing in the same place, holding the same beard, but missing more teeth and have not changed or elevated in any way. And still, on repeat, saying the same old stories. You remember back in the day? You remember when we when we were teenagers? They don't bring any more added value to life or society of themselves. They're taking up space and aren't even worthy of the air they breathe. Warriors, check this out. Like I said, you're never too old to change. But you are too damn old to keep doing the same shit over and over and over. Change your environment. Change your circles. Change locations. Be a part of your own solution and don't depend on others to bail you out. Big mistakes that we need to always be aware of and encourage each other to never ever ignore again. And see, only your inner voice can make you aware of that red flag the minute it's spoken. But control your body language. Don't react immediately, but see yourself out. Either walk or run. But remember, you're not teaching them a lesson. You learned yours. That's all that means. All right? Big mistakes. Act like a child when they don't get their way. For real. A great quitter. It's one of the few things they do well. <laughs> they hit it and quit it. <laughs> Demands to be spoiled, but it's cheap when it comes to treating you. Yep. Their dog has better health insurance than they do. Single because they can't date Snapchat and can't date their cat. They have a man-to-hand -hand relationship. <laughs> Wear slip-ons because they're too lazy to tie their shoes. Often gets things for free by threatening to leave a bad Yelp review. Uh huh. Or bring their own cockroach to throw in the food and pretend that it came from the kitchen. Addicted to game shows. And will argue about the game shows. Passiously. Goes through your things when you aren't around. Is going through a rough patch with their imaginary friends. <laughs> and they probably won the imaginary argument too. Taught them a lesson now, didn't they? Ain't scared. <laughs> Imposes their extreme religious points of view on you. Yep. You see... Seeds of change can only be planted, not forced. It has to be you, your idea. It's the only way it'll stick. Warriors, your boundaries aren't negotiable. It's what's keeping you alive. If anything, your boundaries today, right now, right now, will not be the, uh, they won't be the same a year from now and five years from now. 
The reason why narcissists are so bothered is because every day that goes by, you're more out of reach. They're, they are more unqualified. Look, they never made a pimple on your ass. To be honest with you, they knew it. The reason they're so bitter is that we're hoping the ride would last longer. Now they got to go hit some strange for change for the next half of their life. When the dust settles, you won't be around. You're no one's placeholder. And you dang sure ain't no one's emotional tampon. Emotional immaturity in an adult skin suit is not your problem to fix. Those are wasted goods. A hot mess. Trying to pretend that they got potential. The only potential they got is becoming plant fertilizer. Get out there and own it. Get off that couch. You numero uno. Appreciate all your support, Warriors. But more than anything, I appreciate the remarks you sharing and encouraging each other. And look, don't forget, every now and again, the advertisements pop up. Click on some of them products if you're interested in it. If anything, the girls in the office that champion you and I, they work hard to get these products out there for you at a discount. I'll be honest with you, I don't know what all goes into it, but I know they stay busy doing it. Not only that, but they moderate the remarks, keeping everyone on path, on topic. Careful now, because there are narcissists out there that want you to reveal yourself covertly. Some still sneak through every now and again. They need to know. And here, we keep them shook. And we also keep you from incriminating your damn self, saying too much. Because in this time frame in your life, it's a very up and down emotional roller coaster ride. And sometimes you blurt out things that you don't mean to. We got your back. You see, it's what we do for each other without knowing that matter most. Just like the decisions that each and every one of us make is our own report card. And it's the decisions you make when you think no one is paying attention that matter most. Rock on, Warriors. I'm proud of you. Hold the line. It's never goodbye. It's always until next time. Les mando bendiciones. Namaste.